The Math and CTE Research Study conducted by the National Research Center for Career and Technical Education tested a model of curriculum integration to improve CTE students' mathematical understanding. CTE teachers were drawn from agriculture, auto technology, business marketing, health, and information technology. CTE is career technical education. That's uh, it's basically a way that uh, schools can get industry professionals who have a lot of practical and life uh, experience into the classroom that they can give to the students. CTE is a career and technical education. So it's uh, you know some people may refer to it as shop or um, you know, it used to be professional technical, and now it's career technical education. Well, I think out of uh, all the professional experiences, development experiences that I've been involved with the uh, last 26 years, this is probably the top one or two as far as uh, what it's done for me, but uh, what I felt like it could contribute back to the profession as well. Each of the CTE teachers was paired with a math teacher from his or her local school district or community. The CTE math teacher teams within each of the occupational areas were brought together for extended professional development. I think there's a huge benefit for students when they're able to see how math works uh, from different perspectives and different angles, no pun intended, um, and then also for the teachers and the, and the collaboration and teamwork that's involved. In this workshop, they teach you not to add to your curriculum, but how to enhance your curriculum. Look, there's going to be some naturally occurring math in your subject area, in his case it's drafting, and you've got two choices. You don't know how to teach it because you've never been trained, so either you can ignore it, or number two, you can muddle through it and do a poor job. Or you can take this class and get some training. I mean, it's as simple as that. Ten days over the course of an academic year to learn the process and pedagogy of the math and CTE model. The teams began the process by examining the CTE curriculum in order to identify embedded mathematical concepts. This is called curriculum mapping. The advice that I would give to other professionals taking this training would be that you really can't afford not to avail yourself to it if it's afforded to you. Um, there's no way that I can articulate um, the experience and everything that I gained from it. And if you look at it on the outside, uh, looking in, it looks like a, a, a 10 days looks to be a big hunk of your time. And I can say personally that that 10 days was worth every, uh, it was worth every minute of it. Uh, even to the extent that I signed up again for the next year to help facilitate and help train and to even get more familiar with the process. For any CTE pers person or math teacher, um, I just think this is a great concept because um, the importance of math with students, I find out, uh, you know, as I went through school, I, um, I kind of struggled with a little bit of math, and I see a lot of students that do that too, so um, I think the way this is taught, connected with a math teacher, um, it's, it's more of the applied math, um, it makes that connection to what the kids are doing in math class, and it's improved my students' uh, ability in class to if we discuss some concept to bring in that math portion of it and, um, and, and it can kind of make sense of, of what we're looking at as the whole. Go for it. To me it's been the best professional development I've ever had because you actually have time to develop lessons. It's not a binder on my bookshelf. I, I use it every day. I've been teaching for, uh, this is my 29th year I just completed, so I found that, you know, as you go, there, I, I'm pretty, I was pretty stuck in some modes of instruction and it's given me a whole new light and it's, I've had some successes with uh, just communicating the information better. Not only that, I think about not just the math component, but I think about, hey, how can I get them to see a bigger picture, see the whole picture, see it a little better, a little differently, so it's expand my horizons uh, tremendously. The Pedagogic Framework, Seven Elements of a Math-Enhanced CTE Lesson. One, introduce the CTE lesson. Two. 
Assess students' math awareness as it relates to the CTE lesson. 3. Work through the math example embedded in the CTE lesson. 4. Work through related contextual math and CTE examples. 5. Work through traditional math examples. 6. Students demonstrate their understanding. 7. Formal assessment. The core principles of the math and CTE model. Develop and sustain a community of practice. Begin with the CTE curriculum, not with the math curriculum. Address the math and CTE as an essential workplace skill. Maximize the math and CTE curricula. Support CTE teachers as teachers of math and CTE and not as math teachers. We tell other professionals to do it. If you're looking for a way to enhance your curriculum, adding a little math in it, this is the only way to do it. This is the best thing you can do. Well, I tried to keep an open mind as long as I was going to make a commitment for 10 days. That I realize now that uh, you know what you get out of something is kind of related to how much you put into it. So I was coming into it thinking, you know, I'm going to make the best of it anyhow. So I didn't really have, you know, try to keep my expectations down. But I can say now that it was worth the 10 days and it really required the 10 days to, to do what they wanted to do. I just think it's, it's a great opportunity for anybody and I think it's a growing professional experience and hopefully it'll increase the test scores.